was playing a team, John Words, already interviewed here. Some people have said, did this year's John Words, did it go the way it went? It being in Ontario and the little pre channel show that showed before the awards? I thought, wow, your little history of London, Ontario being very multi fashionable about what bands have played in and around the London, Ontario scene. I thought, oh, wow. But the award show itself, the opening performance by, by this electronic uh, DJ group called Loud Luxury, I'm thinking, wow, they just. I was just like, wow, blown away. I mean, the whole luxury, shout out to the guys from the whole luxury. That group to me is gotta be like, that changed the, the face. They're like a new breed of, of music is today. But the rest of the performance were kind of like, uh, y'all, seeing all around me, the whole of uh, the Juno Cell Block and her performance was just like just amazing. Our Kells' performance doing have you done thing? Yeah. Doing only do one song because he's done like two or three, but but the, the induction of uh, Corey Hart. Now one um, this is like Leading me up to the Juno Awards and Steve Zero 2 was talking about the Juno Awards I thought. And they were saying, oh, this year's Juno Awards uh, induction to the King of Music Hall of Fame is going to be Corey Hart. I was just like, wow. Because I never thought 30 years ago Corey Hart, who became his once in a generation musician, with his classic hit to uh, some last night, I thought, wow, that was just like the, the breakthrough song of the 80s. And then 30 years later, Corey Hart, at 56 years old, and he just put out his recent record, being inducted into the King Music Hall of Fame, I thought, wow, I never thought, like, 30 years ago, here was Corey Hart at 10 or 11, 12 years old at the time, being this, uh, uh, newbie, this fresh face, uh, newbie, and you hear that track, Sunglasses at Night, which it, it became like his, his one hit wonder, and I was just like, wow, and then 30 years later, he's like, in the Canadian Music Hall of Fame, I was just like, wow, I wonder what took him that long, because he had stepped out of, out of the music spotlight. But, I was, I was, I was quite impressed, I was very blown away how his, his induction speech, and him performing on that team, I thought, oh, just hearing that track, and performing on his, Classic hit. That was so good. The way he did it on the piano, playing on the piano, it was just like, oh. It was like Beethoven. It was just like. But, Juno Lawrence being in London, it was just. Perfect.